Hello and welcome to this short snippet on the flex feature. Okay, I'm going to use the flex feature on this model and I'm going to show you the different uh, flex options that you can create with the flex feature itself. So to find it, it's under the insert menu and then features and then it's flex here. Now I need to select a body that I'm going to apply my flex to. So let's say this body here. Now the next thing I need to do is to tell it what section of my model I'm going to apply flex to. Now, because I've selected the body, you notice that the, I've got these two planes here, one on each side of, of my model. Now if I move these, say, into here, what I'm telling the software is that I'm only interested in applying flex to this section so whatever's between my two planes. Now if I put it, there's four options that I can use here. I've got bending, twisting, tapering or stretching. If I uh, now apply an angle to this, you'll notice what happens. You'll see that it's starting to actually bend my model. So let's put, say, a 70 degree bend on that. You'll notice also I have a bend axis here. Depending on where this triad is, depends on what section of the model is bent between my planes. You'll notice if I move it closer to the, the, the red plane, that practically this side of the model hasn't moved at all, whereas this side is almost completely flexed to 70 degrees. If I was to move it in the opposite direction, let's say over here, you'll notice it's gone the other way. Also, if at the lower or higher go, will affect the bend radius. So, how big that radius is between the uh, my 70 degrees. So let's try and get it in the middle again. Let's say about there. And then when I'm happy, I can also specify a radius here if I want. So let's say 40. That's okay. If I tick OK, it will now apply that flex to that part. Now I'm going to go back here, I'm going to right click and edit the feature. I'm just going to show you some other some other options in here. Let's put it on twisting for instance. I'll put it back on naught. Okay, so that's what I'm started with. If I apply a twist, it will twist between those two planes. So let's say a 90 degree twist. There we go. And if I go OK now, that's the twist that's happening. Note that um, depending on where I put my planes is where it twists it between. So this, this plane here is obviously slightly further away than this one. So let's just go and edit that just to show you how the planes do affect it. So if I move this plane out, say, to about there and go OK. There we go. So that's, the, that's how you can apply a, a twist using the flex. Let's have a look at the next option, which is tapering. Tapering just says one side's going to be a lot larger than the other. You have a taper factor here. If I put it at one, it's going to, this one's going to be half the size of this one. Um, and I can go the other way as well if I want. So I can do minus and negative values. There we go. So that's how the taper tool works. Also bear in mind I can move the triad in this instance as well. And that does affect how the scale affects it. Also in the what direction the triad's in, like so, will affect how the taper is applied, like so. As you can see there, it's moving from one side to the next. It also go up and down as well. Okay. Last one is stretching. Now this one is particularly handy if you've got a dumb solid. It's not too bad in this one because Obviously, there's dimensions for this profile I laid down originally. But if I haven't got any, say there's no dimension in it at all, it's an imported part, and I want to add some material to this bar here, this middle section, what I can is put it on stretching, and then I can just add, say, the amount I want. So it's going to add 50 mil between my two planes. Go OK, and then all that's added in. OK. Thanks for watching.